Hello Curious Minds, I'm Miles Maxer. I'm taking a quick walk through the forest to look for some ants and animals. Let's see what we can find. So I just flipped a log and found a really cute little Fidoli colony. I'm not sure which species this is. It might be Fidoli navigans. Uh, but we can see right in here, there's pupae of the major workers, which are distinctive for Fidoli. And there's also one queen alate walking around the surface of this log here. So she's the one with the wings here. Fidoli colonies in Florida are a dime a dozen, but it's still fun to see them, particularly as somebody from North Idaho, because we only have one Fidoli species in the entire state. So being down here in Florida where there's, I don't know, 20, is pretty cool. I just spotted this gorgeous green grasshopper hanging on, on top of this little pine tree. And what they do in the mornings uh, is that they come up on vegetation, orient themselves towards the sun, and just warm their bodies up. Even though it's the middle of the summer, our nights get just cool enough that these guys come out right first thing in the morning to warm up. We've entered a really cool bog area, and it's dominated by these Florida orb weavers. These gals are harmless to humans, but they do form really large webs with a beautiful golden silk. And that silk is actually stronger than Kevlar in some instances. They play an integral role in the ecosystems here, where they kind of build these flight intercept traps, where flying insects that are coming into and out of this bog area actually fly into the web and they capture them. And that really helps keep these the insect numbers regulated in this area. Well, we're watching some black vultures consume a uh, fairly large, now deceased, soft shell turtle. Uh, the smell is not pleasant. So I just flipped this log and we have a whole bunch of different cool stuff going on. We've got a large trap giant colony. This is Adonimachus bruneus. And they have a few different chambers under the log, but this one is just chock-a-block full with pupae and we can see the single worker is evacuating them down the escape tunnel here. Trap jaws are some of my absolute favorite ants of all time, and it's really a privilege to be able to see them out in their natural environment doing this. I just flipped a log with a large Florida carpenter ant colony. Campanus floridanus is found statewide, and they're super important for our ecosystems. These ants are downright ferocious. They're some of the most pugnacious ants that I've ever worked with. So I'm standing a little bit further back here uh, and, and I don't want to mess with them too much. Their bites are pretty powerful, especially when it's combined with formic acid. Here we can see that they've got some uh, cocoons and late stage larvae that were probably warming under this piece of wood. The colony will extend down deeper into the ground. There are a whole lot of different decomposers in the forest like this, and one of them are termites. I've noticed quite a few of them living in little twigs like this, and I was hoping to just collect a couple of them to feed to my dart frogs. We definitely have termites. Termites are a fantastic source of a whole bunch of different nutrients for captive animals. If I remember correctly, they're actually quite high in nitrogen, and they seem to be linked to nice development in reptiles and amphibians. 